Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to channel. Welcome back to channel, baby. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm going to run you through the ins and outs of the recent tumultuous week in the life of uh, where YouTube suspended all my YouTube channels and basically kicked me to the curb. Uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that, hopefully give you guys some kind of guidance uh, in if this ever happens to you. And more importantly, I want to talk about you guys. You guys. You guys are the best guys. Um, I've done this three times now, this little video, because I keep tearing up. And there's a reason I keep tearing up. It's because when I got um, sat down uh, like king hit by YouTube, I, you guys had my back. It was amazing. It was uh, an incredible experience. And in a society where there's so much negativity and there's so many uh people out there who do wrong by man um and woman then to have a group of people on this scale just stand up for me was pretty pretty incredible thank you for that i really appreciate it sincerely from the bottom of my heart i have built all my channels on positivity and inclusion uh and i have only ever wanted to build channels and communities that kind of see things on the same kind of level as I do. And despite our differences in geography, uh, geometry, and uh, whoever we are, like, it doesn't make any difference. I had people all over the world stand up and tell YouTube they got it wrong. Uh, I had people on my Discord server um, distribute my PayPal information to help cover the loss in revenue and the loss of one of the contracts that I had um, going to actually do some things and I couldn't do it because I didn't have a YouTube channel and I didn't ask for any of that and yet the community just put me on its shoulders and carried me on to victory and that is a hard thing to have happened to you and not be touched by and when they say you know you hear people say oh, I was humbled by this and that I really was. I was tremendously taken aback by the amount of support and the amount of people who really wanted me to be a part of their life. So thank you guys. Um, some other things. When I, I'll, I'll run you through what happened and I'll start, uh, I'll start a little bit before. And the reason I'm doing this face to face, by the way, the reason I'm doing this face to face is I really wanted to talk to you personally. And I wanted you to understand how thankful I am, every one of you. Uh, everyone who, who put their hand up and, and helped me, okay? So I was in LA for an event and I can't tell you what that was about, but I was, first I was in the UK for an event and then I came home for a couple of days and I was in LA for an event. And out of the blue, I'll, I'll run you through exactly what a wild week it was. Out of the blue, I started getting this spam on Discord from people who were basically using hate speech and violence and that kind of stuff to um, to harass me. And it seemed really weird. It was like the, it was really, really disgraceful kind, the kind of thing you, you'd see from people that weren't well. And I understand that. And I don't want anyone, by the way, to go hunting up and trying to defend my honor on Discord, YouTube, or anywhere. One of the great things about us is we're not those kind of people, right? We are not those kind of people. So this is just text, a context for, for the story. So. I, um, I was very, very wary that something was going on because I was getting a lot of attacks on Discord and I reported it all to Discord. And then I got home and after having people Photoshop my head on very inappropriate images and, and carry on like kind of sick human beings, I had a, a moment where I was walking the dog the day I got back and I was like, I'll just check in and see what happened. I'm jet lagged. I've been to three different time zones in the last couple of weeks and I was just completely screwed and there was no channel there. And I was like, oh my God, what has happened? Surely these clowns have not got a hold of my um, my email and, and hammered me, but that's what it felt like it happened. But it was really weird. Nothing was deleted. Nothing was, and there was no notifications in my Gmail from me having done anything untoward on YouTube or, or in Google. And yet there was a message from the YouTube team saying my account had been flagged for 
terms of service violations um, according to the community guidelines and I've been suspended. If you'd like to appeal, click here. So I spent the next day freaking out, um, talking to YouTube representatives, trying to figure out what had happened, tracing my steps, going through all the security options, wondering if I'd been fished. Like I didn't know what had happened and YouTube would not give me any information. They didn't even acknowledge that I applied for an appeal. I had to go and talk to a community representative just to make sure that I had actually been heard, like that my appeal had been lodged. Because normally on YouTube, if you do something, it will send you a message saying, you know, you changed your pants. Like you you clicked like on this video. Like it'll tell you about it. They love it. They just mass mail you everything. Uh, and I've had a copyright strike. Um, I've lodged copyright strikes before, like three years ago, on a channel that just took all my videos and uploaded them and called itself Bushka something. And it gave me notifications every step of the way. So I was told that it was copyright abuse. And I'm like, that's the most I could get out of anything. And that was scary because you don't come back from that. YouTube are very serious about the copyright strike stuff. And I've always made a point of never antagonizing the grubs because this is my livelihood. This is where this is where I hope to spend my live long days um, making a living, uh, either on YouTube or in some social media platform. That's when um, I started to get help from the community. Uh, Powerbang in particular, who I'd spent a lot of time talking to in LA, stepped up and really came through. Now he's helped me before with things that I didn't uh, have a clue about doing on YouTube. And he's just been so giving of his time. And the guy works, he's the hardest working man in rock and roll. I tell you right now, the guy spends a lot of time working and he is an absolute pro and I will not hear a word said against the human. He's a wonderful bloke. He gave me a contact, uh, Lester, inside North American YouTube Gaming. And, um, and he helped me out. I dread to think what this would be like if you didn't have some form of contact in Google or YouTube. You would just not know what was going on. Uh, and then they they just like took all my videos and everything down for all my channels. Blitz, uh, Water Tanks Blitz, Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile. And that was terrifying in and of itself. But when I put Bushka in the search engine, suddenly all these things started popping up and it was you clowns. Uh, Meadsy ran a stream, like Riggs Gaming, Fugit, PK on Blitz, and uh, is it, everyone helped, man. Everyone, everyone did streams and videos saying unbanned Bushka. Everyone started getting on Twitter and doing hashtag unbanned Bushka. This is the part in the last three times where I've welled up, but I think I've talked about it enough now that I'm not going to cry on stream. <laughs> I'm not going to cry on camera. And one of the things that really blew me away, really blew me away, was um, when I was in LA, a lot of people don't understand that what we do is all numbers. You get numbers. You How many subs? How many views? Um, crunch those numbers. We don't want rookie numbers, baby. And yet in LA, I was hanging out with other YouTubers, influencers. Uh, and... It was nothing but support from these guys because they're the same as me. They're people who make um, make their way in the world via this medium. And rather than being competitive, it's like we're the only people we can talk to who are dealing with exactly the same kind of things. So those guys all stepped up to me, uh, all stepped up for me, all of them, and and were very supportive. And uh, PUBG Mobile and and the people over at Wargaming and that. And, and Chris, my amigo, uh, you know who you are, who has been helping me out through the Google side of things, not the YouTube side of things. Um, you're a freaking prince, man. Without you, I would not be able to function on a daily level. On a, on a, I, I could not deal the first couple of days after this happened because this is, this is my dream business that I built up over three years. And all I saw was that all the hours that I wasn't spending with my family, all the hours that I'd put into talking and building communities and 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 relating to people and producing content, I just saw it all up in smoke. And those subs were gone. There was no way to access them. There was no way to 
tell them that I'd gone somewhere else. And if YouTube didn't agree, there was nothing I could do. If they said no on appeal, I was done. I was out. There was... Try telling that to your wife. Hun, I don't know what's happened, but they deleted my job. Um, so it was hectic. And I got through it because of you guys. You're the best. You are the freaking princes and princesses of the world. You are the people that had my back when the absolute poop hit the, flan, the fan. You are the guys who were supportive when I was feeling down. You are the guys who financially came across and covered the expenses that YouTube inflicted upon me. Um, I never asked for that. Tony put a freaking PayPal link up in the Discord server and the next thing I know, it's covered. <sighs> Do you know what it's like to, to think that you're building something for three years but to never actually try and fly the airplane, to never see whether you have a community there? And then one day when the rubber meets the road and it's the acid test and everything's fallen in a pile of poop tickets, they just stand up and Mio and Mio. It was it was really, really, really important to me to be able to look at that screen and see that there were people on there who gave a crap. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's rammed home some things to me. One of the things I was talking to Powerbang about in LA is the need to brand myself. Um, he was talking about when he doesn't put his head on a video, he gets so many less views and how uh, that is his brand. He is his own brand and we all know that and we all talk about it, but the guy's clever and he does his, he does his numbers and he's, he's right. I need to start using my freaking face, which is scary. I mean, this is a... This is a head made for radio, but I want to turn I want to turn this negative experience into a positive. And that means I have to understand that I've got to diversify. I've got to have more, uh, more fingers in the pie. I've got to be able to have a following on Twitch, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. I've got to, I've got to jump on the emerging social media platforms and I've got to brand myself. And by brand myself, I mean, just put my head on the bloody thumbnails talk to you occasionally in the videos with me face. Um, let people know what I look like so that the next time something crazy happens, um, if I put a video up somewhere else, they go, hey, that's Bushka. They know it. And it's, it, you know, it's it's part of the changing face of the channel that that's going to happen. It, what's not going to change is the content. The stuff that you guys came here for in the first place, that's staying. Uh, the stuff that you enjoy, the giggle, the corny old man crap, that I carry on with, it's staying um, because we are who we are. And I've never believed that more in all my live long days as a YouTuber. I create content that connects with you and you guys connect with me and I'd be an absolute idiot to change anything about that. So thank you again. There's going to be a lot of stuff dropping over the next wee while because I like doing this. Um, there's a, a lot of different social media links in the description below. If you want to click on those and go and follow me on Instagram, uh, I'm dropping little snippets of fun and giggle there. I just did a singing the Lion King thing where I saved Cleric Dragoon. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, if you want to follow me on Facebook, I'm going to be live streaming there. I'm going to, I'm going to change my COD mobile page to a COD mobile and all other games streaming kind of platform because YouTube hates the live stream algorithm and it kills your channel if you live stream off it. So if you want to watch the live streams and take part in them, you're going to need to head to that page. Um, but I'll be posting more about that in the community section. Uh, all those kind of things are really just streamlining the beast, but we're still going to keep riding the same horse. And uh, yeah, I, I like, I'm so thankful to be here and so thankful to be a part of your lives. And thanks for letting me in. And just keep turning up and I'll keep turning up and uh, we'll have a good time. Thanks everyone. Bye for now.